Alright guys, so since I've been working on this new street court thing, um, I've come up with a really, really, really neat um, way to create custom backboards and have it mirror on both sides of uh, the court. Um, so to show you what I mean, let's load up Blender. Now, as you guys know, to get to the backboard files, you open up the NBA 2K12 or 2KX uh, mod tool and you load up a stadium file because the backboards are part of the stadium. So let's load up the 76ers stadium. If you scroll down a little bit, look for this little buzzer beater red line right here and go down the list of the sub files and you'll see the models here. Now models 0 and model 1 are the two um, backboards. Th 2 and 3 glitch it out. 4 and 5 are the reflection of the rim and 6 and 7 are actually the reflection of the uh, backboard that's shown underneath the court. But we're not going to worry about this right now. We can go ahead and just deselect all of them. Go ahead and minimize that. So after you press uh, the export res, after you select which parts you want to export, you only want to you only want to select part zero right now. So we'll go ahead and export res. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to load up a different one. So you go to Blender, import, and this is all in the other tutorials about Blender. Click the link in the description to the thread. <laughs> so um, let's go to my backboards folder and let's load up my portable backboard. Go ahead and do a scale, shrink it down a bit. We do 0.01, I think. Yeah, 0.01 works. And you can do that in um, object mode and it won't affect the actual backboard. It, what affects the backboard is what you do in edit mode. So here's my portable back, uh, backboard that I've created uh, for the game, I guess that's the way to put it. Let's say I want to ma make some changes. So let's say I want to get rid of the base. Uh, we can go ahead and throw this all the way up to 100 above the rim. So during gameplay, you'll never see that. Press tab to get out of that, P tab to get into this. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and just turn this into a ceiling hoop. So do a rotate, ooh, we got all selected, this stuff up there. So only select these ones. I pressed B twice to get this painter tool. Do a rotate, and we're going to rotate on the blue axis. axis. So we're going to do 180 degree rotation. I can just type that in. Move this up a little bit so it's actually behind the backboard. We'll go 3.5 just so I can undo it if I want to. And just with a combination of shifting to pan with the middle button and rotating around, that looks pretty center. And yeah, you know, it's a short, we'll, we'll say it's a, well, let's just change it up. Press B again twice to select those vertices. Middle click to lock it to an axis, raise it up a little bit. Now we have a nice little ceiling hoop. Again, nothing too difficult. And you know, this is just for the purposes of the video, so nothing too big. So press tab to get out of edit mode. Um, press A to deselect everything. Let's go ahead and turn on shaded, not shaded, solid. Again, nice little look at this. Yeah, that's nice. Nice little upper uh, thing here for the ceiling. Hang, had the hoop hanging down. Why not? So let's say we're done editing this. So we go to File, Export, Export N2KM, go to the temporary file, and we'll just call it Ceiling V2 because I already did one. <laughs> So and export that, export that. So that's how you edit the backboard, and it gets more complicated as you edit the actual NBA backboards compared to this little thing that I've already stripped apart. Now, the problem with this is that if you import this, and you know what, just because I didn't make a backup before, copy-paste, just so I have a backup, always back up your files. Um, I don't even think this is going to import into this because it's a different size, but we can just check and just see. We only want to import the XYZ. Yep, it's not going to import, so we can just close the mod tool. But anyway, if you import this into the mod tool, it's only going to edit one side of the court. As you saw, there's a model for one side of the court and a model for the other side of the court, which is fantastic. That means that you can have one backboard be one way, another backboard be the other way. That opens up a lot of possibilities, but it doesn't help you when you want to just do a quick edit like that. That was a really quick edit. I could just be done right now, but... And have to load up the uh, side, the other side, and that could be a problem. So, as you can see, as if I click left click anywhere, I change this 3D point right here. And if I go into, it, it stays constant to wherever I am. That's a problem. So I've already exported this. 
once. What I need is this 3D point to be at the origin in the center. Now, in newer versions of Blender, you can hit snap and then um, cursor to center, but we don't have that. So what we actually have to do is go to new, wipe out all of this, and re-import the file. Ceiling V2. So I'm pretty much I'm going to show you how to get this to the other side of the court now. So we can go ahead and scale this down by 0.01. Now, this could be a pain in the ass. We have to manually move things over. But the nice thing about it is you can just right click on one of these, press tab, do a rotate command, and you can rotate it. Now, you don't want to rotate it from there. You want to rotate it from here. So you click this button right here and cl click the 3D cursor. Do a rotate command. And you can just do a 180 degree rotate around the origin. You can just type it in and then press enter and it goes over there. Press tab, press right click, press tab, rotate command, hit that axis, 180 degrees, tab, right click, tab, and move all the parts of the backboard, of your custom backboard, over. So we got the custom rim, 180, gone, tab, over, 180, done. So, we still have all this junk up here, which again doesn't matter, but it depends on what you edit. If you edit stuff, if you want, don't want stuff in the backboard, make sure it's really high up there. You don't want it below because you can see it underneath the court. You don't want it to the either sides because it can you know, screw up with whatever you're doing. You want it above the rim because the camera can never see above there. So that's it, right? It's on the other side, export res, and you should be all set. Not really. If you looked in the t mod tool, you'll see that there was two different parts. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and load it up again because this is kind of important. And I will actually... Zero. There we go. So I think it was 21, yep. So as you see, model part zero is one. Model part one is the other one. If you look right here, You'll see that all of these say part zero, zero, part zero, zero, part zero. You know, these are all zero, not one. Now you can right click or you can hold a control and click on it. And you can edit this to would be whatever you want. But we're not going to do it. That's that's too difficult. You know, you have to click thirty time or thirty-four times on this and change each one of these. You have to change the parts and the name of the scene itself, the object itself. That's too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this as is. So we've already, we've already flipped this from this side of the court over to this side of the court. Hit export 2km. And we're going to call it, whoa, ceiling dash F for flipped. Export complete. We can close that up. Now go to your temp folder where you have, or whatever Blender folder you keep all your stuff in. Right click this and open it in hex workshop or whatever tool you use for hex editing. Now see right here, we have 0 dash 0. And then if you keep going down, you'll see 0 dash 1, 0 dash 2, 0 dash 3, and, and so forth. You get each of those objects in the hex, and the names of them are right there waiting for you. So what you can do is do control H or whatever your find and replace create, um, command is. And you have uh, 0 dash and 1 dash. Just do a find replace for this. Replace all. There it is. That's it. Hit save. And now, when you import this into the model, or into the stadium file, it'll actually work. And just to do it, this is my uh, testing court. So if I do import res, go to the temp folder, ceiling v2, import 1, we only want the XYZs, can success. And even though it's going to import part 1, we don't have to select it first. That's it. So now when I load up the game, both of my backboards are right down there. And I don't know if I'll be able to properly navigate this to get you guys to be able to see it. Uh, there they are. So that's how you edit backboards, and that's how you edit one, and then transfer it over to the other one. So you don't have to edit two parts at the, doing the same edits. You can just edit one, rotate it across the way, and have that be it. That's a really confusing thing to explain, but I hoped it helped. So, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.